Hey guys, Jeff Jones, uh, Panorama Farm, Tivoli, New York. Um, just doing a short video on this uh, American Landmaster um, trail wagon, 4x4. I uh, found this. Uh, I bought it used up at a, uh, my local Kubota Case tractor dealer. It's now Salem Farm Supply. Um, they had it out there and uh, I saw it. I was actually in the market for a uh, golf cart. Um, saw this and it's it's about the same size as a golf cart it's just under four feet wide it's uh eight foot seven inches long from the bumper to the tail end of the tailgate um uh, closed and um i first saw it up there and I, I didn't really know what it was this is a predecessor of american landmaster this was uh called uh, a bristers trail wagon by Bristers. Um, not exactly sure of the year. Um, I knew at one time because I looked it up and uh, it's powered by a Honda and uh, it's got the 390 cc Honda engine that uh, has been working very well. Like I say, this is, it's about four foot wide, which I actually like, um, and uh, I did not, I did not know the brand at all when I saw it and uh, went home and looked it up. I had just assumed it was probably something made in China, you know, sold at Tractor Supply or who knows what, and uh, I was very pleased to see that it was a uh, company out in the Midwest. Still in business as American Landmaster now, and uh, anyway, like I said, I bought this used uh, after I found out that it was American-made. Parts were available. I, I called the company up; they were fantastic. Um, I had some questions, and they actually put me through to the engineering department, and I uh, spoke to someone there. So, I mean, you tell me how often you can call a company and actually talk to somebody, let alone get put through to the engineering department if you have some questions so again it's a, a predecessor of the uh, american landmaster bristers it is four-wheel drive i'm just going to give you a few little close-ups of everything here um, this everything you see on uh, except the windshield is uh, it came with it and uh, i'll see if you look underneath here You've got independent front suspension. Uh, this hitch, which I assume is an option, front hitch. You could put a winch on it or tow hook something, pull somebody out. So there's your front end. Um, looking back in there a little bit. The, the front differential is a uh, electronically activated so it's um as my understanding was it's kind of a limited slip so you throw the switch on the dashboard and that engages uh, probably an electronic type of clutch inside of there and i will say it does work just fine um i'll show you a little bit i'm going to just show you the suspension in the back um we use this uh trailer hitch extender just because we have a little garden cart that we pull a dumping and it's uh, between this thing being up under there and the tongue being short it wasn't long enough but with this it's just fine but again coming to the back um, you can see it's it's not independent suspension in the back but it is a uh, well it's a swing arm I guess, maybe it is it's not truly independent it looks like it can pivot from a center point uh, two shocks on each side thing has a very nice ride has the uh, uh, di uh, drum brakes in the back here you can see drum brakes and I'll, I'll, I'll go back up front and I'll show you has disc brakes up front um, so very very well built I think and um, I'm a huge fan of anything that has a Honda engine in it. Um, 
Honda engines seem to just run all the time. They seem to start up. That's my experience with them. Uh, I hate to say it, but I will avoid a Briggs and Stratton engine and uh, and go with a Honda anytime I get a chance. Um, this and this thing has started up fine, no problem. Just gonna zoom back up front here, show you the inside there. You can make them out. Disc brakes up front drum brakes in the back um, so got a little tear in the seat cushion but you know who knows how old is this thing I don't know I'll, I'll, I'll reupholster it when I get around to it so looking at your dashboard you have um, forward neutral reverse this is um, a if you can see it this is a differential lock, which you can put on and off. We, we keep it unlocked, I gotta say, most of the time. And this is your switch. Again, it's electronic for two wheel drive or four wheel drive. Again, that's uh, like an electronic clutch in there. So, um, nothing really too much exciting here. Parking brake, uh, gas pedal brake. Brakes work fine, can stop this. Uh, thing even pulling a good sized trailer This your view. Uh, I got the windshield shut now It's a typical golf cart type windshield. You know, you just pull the rubber the rubber stops off it folds down And in all honesty in warm warm weather we keep it open most of the time um, Like I said that is the only thing I did buy from uh, American Landmaster I called him up model I had well it was actually it was available on their website you just had to differentiate this one from one of the older ones but um, that, that's it it's got the uh, dumping wagon in the back or dumping box it's got this little uh, lever right here you just need to lift up on it it dumps completely so tailgates open you can whatever you have in there you can get rid of it is a manual dump I thought about putting a little uh, 12 volt linear actuator on there would not be a big job at all if you got any kind of skills in that department and, uh, just haven't really decided it was worth it so um, up on the front here you have a little uh, storage area under the front seat very nice uh, this this had seat belts on it when we got it I took them off because we weren't using the seat belts anyway and I know you're not supposed to do that but you know we weren't using them and probably we're never going to use them so um, the only let's see I did make a little modification here to the battery this this plate right here was not here um, that looks like maybe a, about a nine inch by something and I just bent it It actually goes under the battery and I brought it up here so that it just kept the whole battery area cleaner you know act as a little deflector maybe there was something there originally I'm not sure but that was my solution to it and uh, it's worked fine it's kept the battery clean um, here's a little better view of those dual shocks on the rear So, um, like I say, uh, I bought it used at the dealer. I paid uh, about what I would have paid for a gas golf cart. And I, I really can't complain about that. I'm thrilled to death with it. And I got four wheel drive out of the deal. It's faster than a golf cart. And uh, it's got that much nicer suspension. We have a golf cart up at the other farm. And with no uh, independent suspension in the front, this is much, much better. So again, Jeff Jones at the uh, Tivoli Farm, Panorama Farm. This is a Brister's Trail Wagon 4x4 predecessor of the uh, American Landmaster Company. And uh, I, I gotta say, I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, and I, yes, I would buy another one. So uh, here's just a little side note. Um, this thing with the four wheel drive, it's a belt drive. And, uh, but this is my trailer I use. 
fence we take it right out in the field with us it's a it's a five by eight it's a you know little I'm the American Landmaster I think we'll want this no problem um, generator toolbox air compressor inside the other box and uh, this this thing pulls this thing around the field no problem uh, on, I guess on some of the steeper hills it kind of works out a little bit but very it handles it no problem and it, it's pretty heavy and it's got quite a bit of tongue weight on it because uh, I set the axle back on this trailer uh, because when they're up too close to center I don't like the way they pull so this thing if it pulled behind my truck now it pulls perfectly straight anyway fairly heavy tongue weights fairly heavy goes on this American Landmaster Bristers no problem very very happy with this machine